Okay, in this next GIMP tutorial, we're going to be going over this here foreground select tool. Okay, so I got the image I want to use. I'm going to drag and drop it onto my canvas here. And here we have Michelle catches a big old trout up a Camp Red brick. So we're going to do this. So there's actually kind of like two steps to this. Now we still have feather edges and everything like that, but I'm going to leave everything over here default. Okay, now what I want to do is cut out this fish in the foreground. So much like the scissor select tool, I am going to go here and start with trying to grab my edges, okay? Now it's not a smart edge like the scissor select tool, so I gotta be a little bit more careful as far as my edges, all right? So I just want to uh, get something here. Maybe I'll go over her hands, grab the fish tail, go up here, all right? And uh, let me see here. Just want to select mainly the fish. Okay, and I'm going to go up the fish's back, grab its mouth. Nice fish, huh? Okay, so we'll go down here. And whenever I complete the circle, you see something happens. Notice that it's all in blue now. Okay, so what do we got to do now? Well, now we want to have just the fish. So we're going to just start coloring, and this is it's tr going to try to find out, trying to intelligently figure out what you want included in this, okay? So you could actually just click on these colors one at a time, or just like click and drag, just like this. And you could see that now I'm starting to get the fish. Now, if there's something that you don't want, you can actually hit your control button and go like this and make sure it gets color blue. Hit your control button because I don't want to get her hands in there. Okay, so I'm making sure her hands stay out of the picture. But I'm grabbing just the fish. And this is kind of nice. This is a nice thing to do. And you can see everywhere it's blue highlighted. You know, I want to try to get all that stuff. And you can see that it does a really nice job of finding the edges of that fish. Okay, so let me go up here, grab this, grab that see it's doing a, a fairly nice job okay when I'm all done when I'm all done all I want to do is hit the enter button on the keyboard okay and now I could see my selection you know what I what I got in there and then yeah of course I could you know cut it out and then you know file new or just actually paste something in there whatever I want to do with the uh, selection tool okay so that's that's what I got so if you're trying to cut out something this is this for in the foreground this is a nice thing to do and uh, so that's how this foreground selection tool works in GIMP. This is Max with AIM Website Pro. I hope this has helped you out.